Most people are not living their dreams because of fear, ladies and gentlemen. Fear is the most subtle and destructive of all human diseases. Fear kills dreams. Fear kills hope. Fear put people in the hospital. Fear can age you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself, of not stepping out on life and taking life on? What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? You've got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? You will start seeing things opening up for you. You'll start attracting people. You say, where'd it come from? Things will start coming together, clicking for you. You say, whoa, you start brainstorming. Ideas will come out of nowhere as you focus on it. The key to it is to begin to focus on what it is you want to do. Why, Les? Why is that important? Because as you focus on that which you want to do, that which we focus on, that which we give our energy to, it will begin to multiply. It will begin to expand. It will begin to develop your consciousness. And out of that comes your greatness. Out of that comes a commitment. Out of that comes a passion for life. Out of that comes a special power that you have in you that you haven't even called on yet. See, the, the powers that we have will never reveal themselves if we don't challenge them. If we don't put ourselves in a position where we have to use them. So one of the most important things is reading a book that's a really interesting book called Instant Millionaire. And the guy said, put yourself in a position where you can't retreat. Where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. <laughs> or swallow half the pool of life. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. So what is it? How do we handle that whole piece? Throw your whole self into it. See, most people go at it tentatively. They don't give all their stuff. They don't concentrate. They don't put everything they've got in them. One guy wrote a book called, All You Can Do Is All You Can Do. And all you can do is enough. But he said, make sure you do all you can do. And if we're honest this evening, we know that we haven't done all we can do. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at my personal relationships, if I look at my professional relationships, if I look at my family relationships, if I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me to bring my talent out here, to make a contribution to life. You've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Start listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go. Well, I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me. This is something I have got to do. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? No. Will you have some opposition? Yes. Will I make a lot of mistakes? Yes. Will I get hurt? Yes. But guess what? There's no gain without pain. How do you stand the race, Les, when you lost your money, lost your car, had no place to stay, sleeping in people's houses, on their floor, on their couch? How do you handle the time when you're borrowing money and couldn't pay it back? You felt humiliated when people you love who didn't believe in you told you you ain't nothing. How do you keep on coming back again and again? Or you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home and you've been completely devastated. How do you come back? Oh, let me tell you something. 